president of this meeting, dear comrade Dilli Babu, our national convener, comrade Jitin Chaudhary, comrade Shanmugam, state secretary, comrade Sarvanam, other dignitaries of and leaders of the Tamil Nadu Tribal Association, Malai Val Sagodari Gale, Sagodara Gale, Vanakam. Ungal Manakai Valeva, Migavum Magilti Adai Gairin. And I congratulate you on the occasion of the 8th State Conference of the Tamil Nadu Tribal Association. Today, on the occasion of the 8th State Conference, we remember and pay homage to the Founder-President of TNTA, Basha John, and S.T. Dorai Swami, whose photographs are here on the banner. And we remember with pride the many struggles which have been fought under the banner and the flag of the TNTA to ensure defense and advance of the rights of the tribal citizens of Tamil Nadu. I think the fireworks are also appreciating the struggle of the TNTA. And we know that the struggles of the TNTA have been appreciated by tribal communities all over India. You have fought for the basic right of certification for tribal communities. And in many places, because of your fight, we have been able to get certificates for those who were denied the rights of tribals. You have fought against the police atrocities on tribal women and children. We have known of cases where the Tamil Nadu government has behaved like the old colonial British government describing tribals as criminals and you have fought against that. And therefore we are confident that in this coming conference you will describe the struggles, learn from the experience of the struggles and take it forward. My dear brothers and sisters, we are facing a very challenging situation as citizens of a country whose central government does not understand and does not accept the constitution of India. And the people of Tamil Nadu are facing this attack on two fronts. On the one hand, you have the Modi government and the RSS Modi government in Delhi which is attacking our rights. And on the other hand, here in Tamil Nadu, you have the small brother. What is small brother in Tamil? Chinna Tambi. Ah, Chinna Tambi. You have the big brother in Delhi, Modi, and you have the Chinna Tambi here in Tamil Nadu. Both are attacking the rights of the citizens of Tamil Nadu and the country. Correct? Is it Chinna Tambi? Huh? Yes. Chinna Tambi going the Bara Modi way. That is what is happening. And what is the big brother doing in Delhi? Today as tribal citizens of India, belonging to the community of tribals who have fought for India's independence, who have sacrificed for India's independence. Today, as tribal citizens, what do we find happening in Delhi? Today, Delhi has become the sanctuary of all the most corrupt people, of those who serve the corporates, of those who in the name of ease of business are taking away the land, the forest, the very identity of tribal communities. We know as tribals, we know about wildlife sanctuaries. Uh, huh? 
you know about wildlife in the jungle and we know today in the name of protection of wildlife sanctuaries how tribals without recognition of their rights are being removed from the forest which is their right we have experience of such sanctuaries but today under modi government there is a new sanctuary a new type of animals who are being given sanctuary by the modi government and who are these who are being given sanctuary by the modi government they are the corporates of india they are those who are looting the country and running away outside the country the courtesy of the modi government for us this government has no concern for our livelihood for tribals as peasants for tribals as workers for tribals as students this government has no concern but there in delhi today the whole country knows the most corrupt deal the rafael deal in which for one corporate house modi himself intervened with the french government to give the contract for the rafael deal for 36000 crores for his one crony capitalist to expose this big rafael scam many citizens went to the cbi and made a complaint about this big corruption deal the cbi director had accepted that complaint and today what do we find the modi government has locked up the cbi director's office they have sent the cbi director on leave inside the premier investigation agency of this country to protect corruption to protect the corrupt to put officers who will obey only the pmo the modi government is destroying the institutions of this country you may ask my dear friends what is this got to do with your life what is this got to do with our children with our food with our livelihood it has everything to do with you as a citizen of india if the government of india destroys institutions if the government of india and the prime minister narendra modi and under the direction and collaboration of the rss is destroying institutions challenging the constitution challenging the laws then we as the most marginalized citizens the tribes of india can never expect justice because it is this government which is following policies which are destroying the constitutional legal and the rights earned by tribes through their hard struggles because when the resources of this country are used to serve the interests of a few corporates then my dear friends we have to fight that government we have to fight against that government we have to remove the government that is the call that we must give from our conference and therefore our struggle for tribal citizenship rights is linked to a wider understanding of the political developments which are taking place in the country because this is a government which divides the people this is a government which uses religion as an instrument of division of the people we have seen in the last 4 years in so many states where tribal communities are fighting united struggles for their right to forest for their right to land we have seen how the bjp government under narendra modi has divided tribes in the name of christian in the name of hindu in the name of sarna we have seen the way they have tried to divide the tribal community 
to weaken the struggle of the tribals. Here in Tamil Nadu, there are 24, 25 different tribal communities. Like that in many states, there are different tribal communities. What is the slogan of our platform? It is to unite all these tribal communities on common demands and also specifically raising the specific demands of different communities. But what is the RSS doing in tribal areas? What are the organizations run by the RSS doing in tribal areas? They are trying to divide tribals even within tribals on the basis of community. All tribals have their own cultures. Each community has a rich legacy of culture. We have our own languages. We have our own histories. We have our own gods. We have our own traditions and customs. And the Constitution of India respects that diversity among tribal communities. But today the RSS in the, la in the slogan of one nation, one language, one religion. That is the slogan of the RSS. And that slogan of the RSS and the RSS organization getting thousands of crores from the Modi government is working like a bulldozer, like a bulldozer in the cities, destroys the huts of the poor. Like that, the bulldozer of the RSS is running riot against the diversities of cultures of tribal community. And therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, as tribals, we have to understand the slogan of secularism, the slogan of democracy is deeply linked to our own history and our own culture. And therefore, we say, the BJP in the RSS, its ideology, its practice, its policy is dead against the interests of the tribal communities of each and every tribal citizen of India. And therefore, from our platform, we give a call to Adivasis all over India. Fight the BJP, fight the RSS, because they are like poison to the lives the culture, the tradition, the history of tribal community. My dear brothers and sisters, today there is an undeclared war by the BJP government against the rights of tribals in every field. What about the Forest Rights Act? It is an act which was made and fought for by the communist MPs in parliament to ensure that the rights of tribals and forests, which were snatched away centuries ago by the British, were restored to the tribals. The forests, the produce of the forests, belong to you, belong to the tribals of India. But what has happened? What has happened? From 2006 to 2018, these governments of capitalists, these governments of the big landlords, these governments of the big mining mafia, these governments who have exploited the tribals, they have taken away the basic rights given by law for pattas for every tribal family who is living in the forest. If you go to the house of a big capitalist, and demand that that house should be yours, the security guards will shoot you down. They have guns to fight the tribal. But our homes in the forest, our rights in the forest, it is the shame that today in Tamil Nadu, from 2006 to 2016, the corrupt retired forest officers under the guidance of some real estate agents and builders, they got a court order against the Forest Rights Act and therefore in Tamil Nadu from 2006 
till 2018 only 3,797 pattas have been given to tribals. This is the biggest shame. This is the biggest scandal. This is the biggest assault on the tribal families who are living in forest areas in Tamil Nadu. And here from this platform, we give a warning to this government. If you do not implement the Forest Rights Act in proper legal fashion, then the tribals of Tamil Nadu will take recourse to every form of struggle to win their right. You are not fighting only for yourselves, remember that. You are fighting for the future generation of the tribals in this state. You have suffered, but we cannot allow our children to suffer. My dear friends, it is unbelievable that today in Tamil Nadu, 1,000 crore rupees of scholarship money for tribal students has been denied to them. In Delhi, we had a big convention of the right to education for tribal students. You know, there are laws against female feticide. Tribal women are producing children. They do not mind if it is a boy or a girl. And we are proud of that. But it is this government which is killing our children. It is this government which is denying them the right to education for our future generations. The issue of the tribal students, the issue of the tribal youth must be a most important demand discussed in this conference to take it forward. So the issue of education, the issue of jobs, the issue of land, the issues of wages, the issues of security for tribal women, these are the multiple struggles that we have to fight in the future. And we join hands with the peasants and workers of India to demand justice. And we know that this government in Delhi, this government in Tamil Nadu will never be able to give us justice. And therefore we say for tribal rights, for tribal identity and culture, we demand save India by removing the BJP government from Delhi, save Tamil Nadu by removing the corrupt AIDMK government in Tamil Nadu. And I am sure in the coming days we will strengthen our struggle and achieve these aims and goals. I congratulate you once again on the occasion of the 8th State Conference, TNTA Zindabad, our unity Zindabad.